So this is to end my prior video for my Mexican rice earlier. Um, I don't know what happened, but anyways, I got the lid, I'm gonna put it in here, let it boil. Once it boils, I'll put it down to low and let it sit there for a while. Mm, just depends. It can be anywhere from 30, 40 minutes. Um, I'm gonna add some of the gallo de pollo, which you can do, like my husband was saying earlier, the actual gallo de pollo and put it in there. Uh, or you can take some of this and put that in there. If you don't have any gallo de pollo, which ours is frozen. But with this, you don't have to put any salt, remember, from my other videos. Um, I think it was when I made a lentil soup. And so, that, I'm going to take out here. It's already started to boil. Mix that in there, and that should be good enough. And the last thing I'm going to add to this is a little bit of cilantro, not too much, just a little bit to give it some taste of cilantro. So again, put that, that cover it, and I'm going to go cilantro. Literally, it's just like a little handful, nothing crazy. You'll just throw it in there. I might actually chop it up a little and then throw it in there. Um, but yeah, that's basically how I make my Mexican rice. Um, after it's been boiling for a little bit, then you just put it down to low, let it simmer for the rest of the time cooking. Check it, make sure it doesn't burn. and. When it looks ready, then you're good to go. Um, but yeah, easy, fast, cheap. Let's see now, we on a budget, we on a budget. like it's boiling how you want it. So that's good. I'm just going to close it again. And then clean up. Um, yeah, so we'll see what we decide to make next time on our YouTube channel for the Birdos Household Meals. It can consist of Hispanic, Mexican, American, just new recipes, anything really. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out and watching us and have a good day. Take care. It's October 2nd, 2020, still in COVID, but still trying to live life and be positive. So take care. Peace, love, and positivity. Bye.